Welcome to Learn Instrumentation Engineering YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about what are all the different panels and what would be the arrangement of these panels in ICS rack room or technical room. So this video would give you an insight or a knowledge of what are the different types of panels available in ICS rack room. So stay tuned to this video. In this YouTube channel Learn Instrumentation Engineering we would be discussing a lot on basics, concepts and fundamentals of instrumentation and control system engineering, latest updates and upgrades which is happening in and around industrial instrumentation and automation globally. We would also cover latest oil and gas and news as well. So if you are an instrumentation budding student or instrumentation engineer or even an expertise in the field of instrumentation and control engineering, do subscribe to our channel and I'm pretty sure that I would add more values to your knowledge. So let's get into this video. So this is basically an overall layout of ICS rack room or technical room. So you could see over here there are two entry and exit. So basically we have a main entry which would be used regularly during normal operations and also we have an emergency exit door which has to be used only during an emergency situations. We have different types of uh, ICS and its associated panels in the ICS rack room. So what are different types of panels? We do have a power distribution panel, marshalling panels that includes analog and digital signals, system cabinet panels, so that includes DCS, ESD, FNG signals, Additionally, we have telecom panels, vibration monitoring system panels for machine protection or O2 equipment protection systems and also we have fire and gas panel. So these are the different types of panels that would be arranged sequentially in an ICS rack room or technical room. Uh, normally, you could see over here, the panels would be segregated on DCS types, ESD types and FNG types. For example, if you could see here, the first row would be covering only the ICS panels associated with uh, DCS signals and the second row would contain the panels of ESD signals or safety instruments loop. Apart from these two rows, we have other rows where we would be having REPS panel, a rotary equipment protection panel that is otherwise called as vibration monitoring systems, telecom panels, fire alarm panels and gas release panel and also we would be having uh, some PLC panels as well. There is no hard and fast rule that row 1 should be of uh, DC signals, row 2 should be of ESD signals. This is just for a better understanding. So uh, these are the different types of panels that would be arranged or segregated as per the control loops in an ICS rack room or technical room. Apart from that, we do have fire and gas detection systems to protect the server over here. So we will be having smoke detector devices, heat detections and also we have manual call point as well to activate if there is any emergency inside the ICS rack room. So these are the basically different types of panels and in the next video, I would be detailing explaining you the different types of panels from power distribution to marshalling to system cabinet in the coming videos. So if this video was very useful to you, just hit the like button and share to our instrumentation community. If you want to watch such technical videos, do subscribe to our channel, Learn Instrumentation Engineering. Thank you.